Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into Flying with Mike. Kind of still giving OBS a pretty good shakedown. Uh, we've had a lot of troubles. I think yesterday's was caused by me. At least that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. And uh, we're just going to kind of give it a try, and we're also going to... You know what? We're going to be a glutton for punishment. We're going to give the C-130 a try, too. So, without further ado, we've got the loadmaster out there just ready to snap at an airman to get this plane loaded. He doesn't know it's already loaded. But, um, anyway, uh, we're going to hop up in the office, get this thing raring and ready to go. Uh, we're on PauseCon. Sorry, folks. Uh, again trying to give the system what appears to be a harder run. I mean, I'm not going to say PazCon is a system hog, but it does seem I mean, there are steps. So I can't imagine there aren't a little bit of resources being used. So I'm trying to really push everything here. So, but yesterday we completely locked up and had to restart OBS in flight and yeah well we still turned out the flight just in two videos we didn't put it up on youtube because of that so uh you know it is what it is that's how i'm gonna s and that's where we're going with this so sim toolkit where are you hiding oh that's right i forgot i had to do that all right yeah it tells me i'm late i kind of now start not to like 1.0 no <laughs> Just kidding, folks. It's really good. There are some changes to get used to, unless I didn't get the latest, greatest updates. So, that being one of them, which is kind of cool when you think about it. Uh, we're a military, though, so it really doesn't matter if we're on time or not. But uh, pretty much the same layout here on your uh, summary. Uh, we've got the loadout. Maybe. Why is nothing working? But it's been doing this quite often today, so I don't know if that means there's a stability issue or not. This is going to be the about the fifth time we've had it loaded. All right, there we go, and let's connect up. All right, so, and that means I. Okay, we should still be good. All right, so we got 92 people on board. We're going to put 20,000 pounds of payload in it and about 17,000 pounds of fuel. So, been kind of weird with that here. So, we're going uh, 20,000, what do we call it? Sorry, folks. 20,240. All right, internal fuel for the load, 17,000. Okay, and done. And we're applying the changes. All right, wanna make sure. I want slick wings for the flight. All right, we got them. All right, so we're loaded up there. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and start bringing in the cargo bay. Go ahead and get that guy in. All right, so we don't have lighting. All right gotta love it all right so back to sim toolkit um box 70 we'll see i doubt it we'll probably keep it within because i don't even think we have a mock gauge so we'll probably keep it at about 300 ish or between 250 and 300 and uh probably 25 is as high as i plan to go and uh from there we'll just Hope for the best with this program. Oh my goodness, really? B 
Navy SIM toolkits causing a lot of troubles here. All right, well, maybe not. There we go. I did Hawker, and I'll be honest, I didn't really read it much, so I don't know if I'm in super trouble or not. Probably am. Hey, it's flying with Mike. So we'll see what direction they're going to take, but we're going to take to the direction of Keesler Air Force Base. That's what we plan to do. All right, so we got everything buttoned up. We'll take one last tour around the plane for y'all. And uh, start cranking those engines up, shall we? Mansfield is the uh, air guard base we're flying with today. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll get past takeoff. So last time we did not. So real quick, grab the METAR here for y'all. And it looks like uh, we are gonna have to restart it one more time. Yeah, I'm not so sure the 1.0 is as stable as they thought. This is the most problems I've had with SIM Toolkit Probably, good lord, in a long time. Unless it's going to be indicative of uh, my internet connection today. <laughs> Interesting that it didn't pull up. Spaceman 634, welcome in. We're going to see just how much trouble I can get into in this plane here. There we go. Now we got a METAR. Okay, 300 at 7, 10 miles. That's the number I was looking for. 299. Okay, everything looks set, ready to go. Big thing I need to do is uh, get the runway heading out of here. Three, four, four. All right, let's see if it'll be nice. All right, and uh, flight plan. You know what has not been uh, put in yet? You know what? I am remiss in that. Hang on, we'll be able to do that real quick here. All right, so we go to flight plan inside here. We move it over. Dias to Biggs. Okay, Biggs. Enter. We have a flight plan. All right, so ABI, ABI is... thirteen seven.
Okay, get the basics in here, come back. Alright, there we go. FMCs are even loaded. Alright, so let me, uh, uh, we're gonna have to go with this view. 113.7. Alright, that'll get us to there, and we're ready to fire up now. One thing I thought about, and if this flight does have troubles, I do have a another idea in mind. You know what? Let's. Uh, no, there are no departures here, so it doesn't matter. Um, I do have a backup plan if we do run into trouble. So, uh, just like we did before, I'm I am ready for one. So, all right. So here we go. How do I start this thing, folks? I forgot. First thing, I would assume, turn the fuel on. Anyone got the keys? Here we go. sure we're spinning out here. Oh, we're not. I didn't even do a thing, folks, and Sim Toolkit just reset. Oh, boy. What am I doing wrong? What am I forgetting? Actually, I think we are. No, we're not. What am I forgetting? Hang on. Okay, we got air. Okay, getting a little frustrated here. All right, let's see here. What am I forgetting? APU is running. Generator is on. APU bleed is on. Oh, it's closed. How did I close that?
figured it out. Okay. Hey, we got an engine running. And then I shut it off. Okay, all right. Now let's get the other ones going. Okay, here comes number four on. I don't think it started. No, it did not. Trial and error always gets, always wins out. all started. Alright folks, here we go. Let's see what kind of trouble we can cause already since we've uh, had troubles on the ramp. Alright, so we got all our gauges set. Let's get the uh, flight director. Speed looks good. Altitude will set. By the way, folks, you gotta hold the mouse on this. It's not like most where you can just uh, hold the mouse, click, and go. You gotta kind of click it into place. See. 
Alright, so wings level, we're set, and 2999. Here we go. Let's go see what kind of damage we can do in the air, folks. At least it got me pointed the right way. I want to tell you, this is getting old with, uh... I mean, I may have to shut some toolkit down. Alright, we have shut it down. So sorry folks, you will not have the exclamation mark route to use anymore or the METAR stuff or even predictions because I don't know what's going on with Sim Toolkit. Breaks off. I really don't know what's going on with Sim Toolkit, and uh, we're not going to have that bug in my eyes the whole time. Alright, so you can see where we're coming up to here. We're going to come down Alpha all the way to Fox, take off. Boy, we are needing a lot of power. Yeah, with Sim Toolkit doing that, that is odd. I am going to bring Volanta up, though. That really bugs me, because I really love Sim Toolkit. That folks getting uh, Volanta ready put us right into the lights that was good of me great flight going ahead folks okay coming off Abilene This ought to be fun. It's been a while. We had a lot of troubles the last time out. It was mainly views that were the problem. Um, we had that flare up on the 707 as well. Uh, we had a good flight overall with the 707 yesterday, but uh, OBS decided to nosedive on us. So. Day goes. One thing. 
thing I just remembered I didn't like, I can't tell the trim. Aficionados, you're going to see a bunch here in a moment. I think they're X Plane's way of saying E ones. <laughs> Close. About two of them, three of them maybe in length would equal 1v1, but you know, hey. And by the way, reminds me, within the next couple of days, folks, you probably will see X-Plane 12 beta. We are all beta testing it if you so choose to pay for it now early. Or you can wait until everyone finds problems with it, then buy it. It will be your choice. Not sure what uh, side of the fence I'm gonna end up on on that. Uh, but yeah, we've got it here, as they say, on final approach. So we will see what we can see. And look at all those F4s. at the end of the runway. That's not good. Hang on a second. Thought we had that all squared away, but maybe not. Air Force Base traffic uh, reach 18 departing runway 34.
themselves like little bees. All right. Just about to that point where we had troubles before. Let's see what happens. Hang on, folks. Let's get these all up and hopefully we won't have... That was the view issues. Now let's see. Well, we're doing a little better. Give me a second here. Keep the nose pushed. Yeah, we went into ghost because we pa uh had to click pause to fix the view problems. Alright, I think we acquired a good climb rate. Folks, we are making the turn to come back over Abilene. Coming through 6,000. Beautiful day here. Alright, so there's the Air Force Base we just took off. Abilene shouldn't be too far off in the distance.
Okay, we got it on GPS. Now where's my nav up here? it does so there you go folks sorry for being so quiet uh, a lot going on here to 10,000 so lights off now we just got to make sure we uh, grab the course It, folks, it does sound funny. All right, so it's built up to about two eighty. I don't know, Hawker, if that's going to work, because I do not have Sim Toolkit running, and uh, we're having a lot of problems with it, so it's annoying the heck out of me restarting a million times over. Hopefully in the next few days, there'll be a fix for that. Hopefully in the next few minutes, no. <laughs> but could be days. things I haven't had a good time testing yet, so we'll see how this all works out. Well, folks, there you have it. The Herc is in the air. We got, we had a few, few problems again, so I don't know if that's related to possibly the, the f uh, flight sticks I have here, or if that's with the Herc here, I don't know. But we uh, got through it, so.
Alright, there we go. Start back up again. Alright, so folks, uh, again, my apologies. Sim Toolkit seems to be having some troubles today, so we won't be able to use uh, any of the many tools that I like to use, namely the overlay across the top. Um, just kept resetting for some reason, and I'm gonna have to go in and figure that one out. If it's something on my end, its end, who knows? But, um, we are trying to get the bird to climb and gain some speed, but welcome to the world of a Hercules. Kind of give you an idea of what our ETE is here. Looking at about an hour and 40 minutes. and on and yeah I don't see anything other than our turbine is, but I don't know. Yeah, I think we're uh, doing the best she'll do, so we'll just take our time on up to 25. Well, welcome in. I do hope you uh, enjoy the ride. It's an unusual stream, I know. Not many dare to take the Herc into the air. But uh, we're giving it our best shot. At least we got further than we did the first try, where these views, as you saw, really play havoc. They did that in the 707, and by pausing, getting it to stay on a screen seemed to help. Of course, it puts us in uh, ghost mode and all of that with PauseCon, but you know, I'll deal with that. Alright, and uh, seeing if we got any hurricane hunting going on. I do not see any. There is a storm. It is called Earl, and it's, uh, it's not really threatening much of anything, but, uh, 
you know, it is out there. So anytime you have one that causes the hurricane hunters in Biloxi, where we're going, to take flight, I'm going to try and grab a little steeper climb here and see if we can't. I got pedo heats on, don't I? On, pay away, on. Pilot on, on. So I hope you all enjoy, folks. Feel free to uh, um, chat away in the chat area. Uh, I'm just uh, monitoring a lot of things here on top of uh, testing a plane. I'm also trying to figure out where my OBS has been screwing up. Um, so we're really trying to get this flight through. Um, so hopefully any of you who might be OBS savvy. Uh, we'd love to definitely chat with you. Uh, also, folks, uh, if you want to chat away, because tomorrow I am going to be at work. Um, we do have a Discord channel. Love to chat with you when I'm not flying or when I am. Uh, I do try to look over there from time to time. Um, but uh, right now, I'll be honest, Kind of more concentrated here to make sure we're okay on the approaches. But uh, we are raring and ready to go. Let's uh, get this centered up. Okay, we're tracking right like we should. Let me uh, bring that and see what happens. Oof, that's what's supposed to happen. All right, there you go, folks. At least you can see where we're going, where we are. Can't get you an ETE easily right now, but you know what? It's like a wise person once told me, we'll get there when we get there. So. All right, so we are flying south of Dallas, Fort Worth in between Dallas and Houston here soon. Uh, we're getting ready to cross 18. We go ahead and set for transition. And uh, continue this on up, folks. But I do thank everybody for coming aboard on this Labor Day here in the U.S. I just feel like I'm not getting all the power out of this aircraft. And it's not because it's a prop plane, folks. I just... I'm not sure why I'm maxed. I mean, I'm maxed on the throttle. job done here. Uh, 
Alright, well. Might just be that. Let's, uh. Everything on. Not sure why we're getting heat of heat warnings. Be honest, so it's a fairly decent uh, rendition. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you, folks. It's not that bad. Although I do know I need to do one thing. Okay. There you go, folks. Those of you that like military airplanes, this is something that feels like splurs around, or I don't know, feels flaps don't look like they're all the way up. But they are. Zero. And zero. just seems like we should be, I don't know, maybe that's just the way the wing looks on it. I don't know. But yeah, it, it's interesting there, Hawker. And uh, like I said, uh, it's an okay plane. I mean, yeah, you got to pay some like $20, $25 for it, an X plane. Um, I don't know if I'm thoroughly thrilled with it, though, enough to keep flying it, folks, and I do apologize, because I know there are some of you out there to love this plane, eh, including this guy. Um, well, let's get up to 25,000 and see how she does. The other bummer is a uh, SIM toolkit. Oh, well, you know, folks, that's free. That's the first time I've run into any problems with it, so. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna kinda wish, and I don't think we'll see it happen. Uh, Captain Sim had a pretty decent C-130 in would have been nice to see a crossover, but, uh, oh well. I know, I just hurt some people's ears, I know, with Captain Sim. So.
But yeah, they actually, you know, did put together a pretty decent uh, start to finish. All the different versions they had. I mean, let's be honest, folks, it wasn't all that bad. Now, with X Plane 12, the ski version, that would have been fun to try out with the skis on to see how well they uh, work the dynamics of landing with the skis. But you know what? Hey, we do have a C-130. It's a little better than the X-Plane 10 version. Not gonna say a whole lot better. A better panel, a better look to it. Sounds, I don't know. It does not sound like one. But um, I'm sure if I dug, I could find something that sounded better with the Allisons on here. But you know, overall folks, it's a good aircraft. Minus that view problem on takeoff, and I don't know what causes that. So, and uh, I'd have to say, folks, if you want to see it, oh, did not know Nightbot did that. Hang on a second, let me get in there and kill that timer. Let me check the others. I turned on. No, I did not. Good. So, but anyway, folks, we are on our way. Um, again, I do apologize that the route feature, departure weather, arrival weather, that you could usually just asterisk and put it on there, is not functioning today. Um, my apologies on that. Um, I don't know what's up with some toolkit. Uh, it just kept resetting, so... Um, that's another problem to deal with once we get past the OBS troubles. Once we cross that hurdle, because I, folks, have some... Well, you know, just go over to our Twitch page or our Discord channel and you can see the upcoming schedule. So, we're going to have some fun coming up this week. So, uh... Granted, we still got a 48-hour shift buried in the middle of it, but uh, we'll work around it pretty decently. All right, we're about to hit the uh, level off point. And I uh, really wish I could get an ETA. All right, so what we'll have to do is just basically stay up on it. You know, we're going to have to do what real pilots do. We're going to actually have to stick it out, be there, and uh, switch frequencies and all that good stuff. Alright, so speaking of which... Okay, so we're in Waco. thing to get used to here folks is this unique um okay we're making a turn let me make sure that's not me causing it <laughs> should be we are at Waco and making the turn on course let me pull that up so I can follow okay next up is Lufkin Lufkin is 112.1. Okay. I like having the carrot there just in case. We're going to pay attention to that too here in a minute. 
Alright, so the next frequency... 12, 11. There we go. What we'll do on Nav 2... Lufkin's 134 miles out. After Lufkin MCB. Put that to 1670. Alright, that'll set us up, folks, for the next few. We should be about to level off, so let's see if we are. speed up to around, well, we'll see how we do here. All right, so there went Good Alexandria after the, okay, well, I mean, literally, folks, I could fly this VOR to VOR to VOR, but uh, for now, just going to let it fly. I want to check one other piece. See if it'll give it to us. Top it descent 343 miles away, so that's good. Alright. on the build up of speed. That's okay. As long as we don't run out of fuel, we're always okay with that. <laughs> Gotta throw that out there. Um, okay, so we crossed Waco, now Lufkin, 112.1. Funny how it says course 27. Must be hmm. now that kind of concerned me. <laughs> Interesting. I thought I was on GPS. Auto. Pilot. Ah, that's why. Didn't notice the GPS setting.
Okay, now we're for sure in GPS. So that's good, okay. things out here, folks. Uh, if this was the Captain Sim version, it'd be a little easier to understand. I mean, they've done a good job making it pretty close. Oh no, that's right, I may have to fly it. Alright, I want to see something here on the GPS. Well, Hawker, why don't you uh, hop in a plane between here and Keesler and we'll uh, shoot the uh, shoot into uh, Keesler or anyone out there for that matter. Love to have you aboard. Take a look over here at PazCon. Ah, did it again to me. Uh, let's see here. PazCon. Yeah, this goes out every now and then too, folks, on me. So I just have to come back, push that. Already got the clearance. To give me the clearance. Oh, so what is going on? stopping by moderating for the time you could. Thank you so much, sir. Again, feel free. We're on PauseCon. Come on up if you uh, got a count. We'd love to fly with you. Hey, we can do formation. Well, not technical formation flying. I don't think PauseCon would like that, but uh, we could sure make it look cool. I do 
like the slick wings, folks, but I do know you gotta put those tanks on when you gotta go long distance. We have taken these. Should make the map a little smaller, but okay. Let's do that. Better. <laughs> or I could just do that too. go folks 25,000 feet above the great state of Texas <laughs> see got it right where you needed it there uh, Hawker eh, we still got a good hour to go so we'll just kind of sit back and relax enjoy the music and uh, before we know it we'll be there Oh, so, but anyway, at least we got the 130 to fly this time. Figured out how to get past those few, few issues when they come up. Um, see what happens on landing, because we had that happen with the 707-120 uh, on the big shakedown flight from O'Hare to JFK. So. All right, so... High above Texas. Next on the list should be Lufkin. Where is Lufkin? Did we just cross him? I didn't catch him. You know, we may have to fire this up, folks, up uh, with Linden Air. Do a little Alaskan hopping with it. Granted, we're not going to... Well, actually, we could try going into some of the... Uh, uh, I wonder if they do have Red Dog Mind in this one. Because they all go in there. The uh, Northern Air Cargo with the 7-3s. Everett's, Linden, plus all the small guys, but the larger aircraft do go in there, so that might be uh, worth investigating. Red Dog is located north and west, if memory serves, of Otsbury, Alaska. So you're getting up there, folks. You're getting close into the Barrow Country. Right now, you're getting to where it's more dark than it is light, so. they say. Hopefully in the next day or two, we will see it. At least that's what a message I read that uh, Hawker 125 sent me. So. And the big question, of course, on everyone's mind, am I going to jump on board real quick? I don't know. I want to, but uh, I've got so many problems with OBS going on at least I think I have going on. 
every couple of minutes. Awesome. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I'll jump right away. I may wait for the initial crowd to go after it and then come in. But um, I haven't decided yet. not missing out. <laughs> well, uh, with what you told me in a uh, DM there happens, you might. see here folks I like I said I'm fully on board to flying it it's just when will I download it install it and uh, shake it down here so I haven't decided that yet Not coming in. <laughs> now that's dedication, folks. <laughs> All right, so far, so good. I'm not going to try something Eli uh, told me to try with some of the problems I was having with it. That seemed to set the uh, motion for it to lock up, so we're going to just see, letting it go, how it happened, and what happens. And what he uh, told me to do, and it's, it makes perfect sense, don't get me wrong. And Eli, if you're listening, it makes perfect sense. Um, turn on the stats and watch my stats. Well, at some point in there, I, it locked up uh, OBS. Tight as a drum. Had to shut it down, restart it. And, uh, so yeah. Not sure. Also noticed when I click updates, make sure I have the latest, greatest OBS. Doesn't seem to do anything, so I know that means something too. Right back, stand by. 
Alright folks, sorry for that. Had to use the lav. Alright, so... So we are sitting probably... Just came off Lufkin. Alexandria that's staring us down now. They are 116. Oh no. Second, folks, just get my radios realigned here. All right. Okay, so we 
are up and running, folks. Gotta love it. Somehow Sky Vector does that a lot to me. Okay, so we are tracking. PCU is in about 30 minutes. And I'm gonna go direct Gulfport. So I may come off GPS to nav one. That way we can get our descent in. And I want to get, let's start while we're here, working out. First off, what's going to be our run? Keesler is 210 at 9. Okay, 210. 22. Let's see the ILS. it up here in a minute folks we got time believe me 300 miles will be uh let's see pcu will be Then Zogbo in it. All right, that'll work. Actually, yeah, that'll work perfect. All right. PCU, by the way, is Pico Ewan uh, V award. Boy, I'll stick with PCU. <laughs> All right, folks. So I hope you've enjoyed the ride so far. Been pretty, 
pretty good to date. Uh, all is seemingly going well. I don't see any red flags dropping out big time on us. As of yet. Except for this haze layer we found. <laughs> Alright, so let's... Uh, I actually thought about the GPS, by the way, folks. But keep it simple. And, uh, don't have any arrivals. into this and uh, talk it through. Alright, so here we are, folks. Uh, you can't see here we are, other than on the GPS, which isn't going to help much. Alright, so charts. Alright, so you can kind of get a feel. Now, I don't have it centered right now, folks, but uh, we're heading for here, which is PCU. Then we're going to track out. Instead of going to Gulfport, we're going to go up here to Scally and then make a quick dog over to uh, the ILS. If we see the runway, great. If not, we'll be on the ILS, hopefully. Everything working like it should, hopefully. <laughs> and we'll uh, come in on a good landing. So, I am going to shoot to be... Uh, at a Zogbo at 2,100 feet. So from 25,000 to 2,100 feet. Actually, let's... Probably about 20 miles from PCU, we will begin our descent, unless maybe ATC will come up. Who knows? Last night, we saw quite a bit of uh, activity out here. 
on PazCon. I was really shocked. We had, I think, okay, I know Van Simmers, you're gonna go, wow, you only had 25 people? Wow. Well, for PazCon folks, that's a lot. Plus, four ATC units, mostly in South America, but still, that's the most I've ever seen on PazCon, so. I know that's him. You're like, wow, that might be how much is flying through Dallas right now. <laughs> so, and I do realize that, folks. So, but anyway, let's take a look outside. It looks a little hazy. I swear to you, it still looks like we got a flap out. But ground speed wise, I, mean, I can't complain, folks. We're doing pretty good. So, uh, all right, so let's get in here. Since I do have it up here, and let's talk it through. There we go. All right. So, like I said, we're going to come off PCU. We're going to fly up on the Victor 552 to Scally instead of Mindu and then turn for the ILS and, and grab it at Zogbu. You know what, I'm gonna, gonna realign this so you all can see it just a bit better. Okay, so we'll come in here at Zogbu. And uh, grab the ILS, so kind of blowing it up here for some information. So the ATIS is 281.55. That is UHF, by the way, folks. We don't have that. <laughs> That's kind of unique. All right, I haven't seen that on here. Uh, our approach. See ya in Vienna. All righty, sir. Enjoy the 707. From Captain Sam. That's actually, I've heard, not a bad version. <clears throat> so, all right, so we're going to go. Uh, here's our approach frequencies we could be on. Houston Center, we could be on. Keesler Tower. And uh, ground. But the big ones we're looking at is 1097. That's the localizer. 217 is our final approach course. Or D, however you want to call it, is our main uh, final approach fix, which is 1,400 feet on the glide slope. Okay. Um, decision altitude is 217 feet, and I do not see. Here it is. I do see it. I do. I do. So we'll go 200 on that. Uh, that is our radar altimeter, and that'll tell us minimums and all of that good stuff. Okay, missed approach is right below it. Pretty much, folks, there is a frequency for this Keesler TACAN. I think it's 111.8, which you see right on top of it. Um, TACAN is a military uh, tracking VOR type device. However, tack ants can be in an airplane because that's how sometimes aircraft track the tanker when it's airborne. So it's a unique device for the military. Um, we're not going to tune it. We're just going to stick with the ILS bringing it in. Transition level, uh, 18,000. Emergency safe altitude of 3,100 feet all the way around. Okay. Again, 2,100 feet is what we're going to come down to. Eventually, we're going to come down to 5,000. Wait a minute. It's not. It's not. Oh. <laughs> um, so, we'll just stair-step down and right in. I am going to try to fly this at 120, folks. 
to 140. So we're going to be looking at a 630 to 740 foot minute uh, per minute feet per minute descent. And that's going to put us in anywhere from one. We'll decide when we lock in on our speed, um, either a minute and 50 seconds or a minute and a half to get from board to the missile approach. Um, we have an ALSIF-1 lighting array for the approach, which we probably won't have a problem with. Pappies will be on the left. And then finally, our minimums of uh, RVR. Uh, we need at least three quarters of a mile visibility, visually, or RVR of 40. R40, I don't know what R is. RVR is, that's not an RVR. I'll we'll have to look that up. And of course, our 200 feet. Hurricane hunters do everything backwards. <laughs> All right, so there you go, folks. Let's see where we're hiding. And we're still not picking it up yet. So hang on. Let me make sure I've dialed everything in right for T95. Yeah, just not in range yet. And just looking at the live weather here. I'm going to try to pull this up. Okay, let's try bringing this in. Alright, so here's PCU. Uh, hang on, I'm on the wrong map. Here's PCU, folks. We're going to be tracking out to Scali, and as you can see, we got a thunderstorm out here. And from there, we should be able to make the turn and have no troubles getting in. That's if the VTAR in that X plane is picking up at the moment equals this. If it's time lapse back, we could have this over the airfield. So right now we're looking at uh, 208 still and uh, 2998. So we're looking good. 10 aircraft up and I can already hear you go, oh my gosh, they're going to collide. <laughs> no, folks, hey, it's only three, what, five years old, six years old, POSCON, so it's not bad. And, you know, they do have a control room where, I don't know, I could look it, but I'm not going to worry. So you can get an idea how far, that's where we're headed. Away with you, browser. All right, so frequencies look good. Hopefully, here soon the PCU will come in. Now, but those of you that are looking for some nice challenges today in your flying, head up to the north, uh, well, from like Atlanta north and east. Big swath of rain up there, surely a lot of IFR flying. So, just a uh, heads up to those of you out there.
right, folks. Uh, should we get to just about the uh, edge of uh, Lufkin? here as the unofficial end to summer in the U.S. is upon us with Labor Day. Uh, I'm not sure how this is celebrated across the world. I know here in the States, military, some bases are given four days off, some are given three still. And uh, time to be with their families, especially all the deployments they've done it's good to see so uh but yeah i uh, hope y'all are enjoying your last cookouts your last uh hurrahs of summer uh, i know here in the st louis area uh, the one person i follow for forecasts yeah just because hawker 125's here i won't talk much about it but uh I'll just say this, you may not like it. But as I always say with forecasting, folks, we'll see what it is for real. It's just neat that they have that ability to look out. We just lost Lufkin. And uh, I'll tell you, the guy that I follow here in St. Louis, he does a really good job, folks. It's a shame he retired from on-air meteorology, but uh, he does a phenomenal job, takes, takes it seriously, unlike some other people in the city. So. Alright, so we are in between B and R's, folks. 
curious if and when uh, it is 13. I, I hate when I do this, folks. Doubt myself. Thirty-ish miles or so. Man, if we were flying on Vatsim, holy Toledo, just about every conceivable Tracon is online. Wow. Down here. Wow. That's never seen that before. Wonder how many are doubling up. Okay, wait. I think we have a BOR. Yes, we do.
morning. So, uh, again, hope the Labor Day has treated you well. Uh, earlier today, hope the wife uh, pulls some more stuff out of her office as she has been blessed. Uh, so that's a good deal for her. Doesn't have to deal with the St. Louis traffic anymore, except for when she has to go in for certain meetings. Good for her. Ah, I need some coffee. Keep us moving here, folks. Alright, so we're about 50 miles out. Let me recalculate our...
All right, folks, I do apologize. My uh, wife got back from the stores. And, uh, well, had to help her unload. So here we go. We're approximately 25 out of PCU. We will start our descent. Let's go ahead and start down to five. Go into VS. All right, folks, we are coming down. Again, folks, for those that didn't see it, um, as soon as we come off PCU, I am going to take over. Um, matter of fact, now we'll come off, get established, then I'll do it. You can see... route that we were going to fly. We're going to go up one more and then kick over. One more fix. All right, so there's our frequencies across the top. 109.7 is the one we got to really uh, make sure we have set. We do. And then we'll set the uh, OBS here to uh, 217 as we get closer. So we're eight out. All right, anyway, continuing uh, 1,440 right here and uh, decision altitude of 217. Okay, just giving you a quick look at the rest of it. Our uh, TACAN, if we need it, is a 111 decimal eight. Granted, it's channel 55 on the tag dance. Okay, so let me punch this back. There we go, and you can see how we're going to do this, folks. Don't follow my GPS, because like I said, off PCU, I'm going to set our outbound course to 49, I believe it is. Oh, I'm sorry, correction, 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah, they're calling it 83, okay. Close enough, so...
right, we're going to continue our descent. trying to do folks is set up on 077 that's the actual heading according to sky vector to fly out here So we got Sten. We got to get to Mindu. Getting back on course here, folks.
enough to get down closer to 5,000. I can see the runway I'll take over. Got the runway. Good.
Keesler traffic, uh, reach 18, approximately 5 mile final. Welcome to Kiesler. <laughs> a little bit of a hard landing there.
Welcome in again, folks. Sorry for being so quiet there. Just a pain in the rump sometimes these planes can be. I couldn't get enough trim into it. Alright, so... Well, unfortunate. Well, you know what? I don't think it recorded anything, but you give it a try anyway. That didn't record. Okay, no biggie. Um, all right, so well, one, two good things came out of it. One, we got to see 130 here, uh, which is far better than our first, well, second attempt at it. And secondly, uh, hang on a second here. We need to end the flight. Review the flight. Valanta had us at 297. I'm not sure which landing that was. There was at least three or four in this one, folks. And, uh, folks, it was a good, good overall flight. Let me get up here, get that generator running. Lead air on. And off. Welcome in. Interesting. Interesting view from the tower. Anyway, folks, there we are. Keesler, home of the Hurricane Hunters. Um, hang on a second. Turn these off. Bit going, pedo heat off. Okay, all right, folks. Since we really can't do a lot of learning from our sim toolkit, since it was being a pain in the you know where, we are just going to. Uh, go into flying this well doing what X-Plane can do that uh, Microsoft can't and that is put it in reverse and you're like well Microsoft can do that uh, not to the level we can you have to start an add-on and also be smart enough to realize you can't do that with PazCon running Oops, got to turn that off. Sorry. Now I can do that. Let's get out of on Ghost. I'm going to check something real quick. We'll get our uh, finish here file. Okay, so that sets me up for another month with those folks. Let's head over here. All right, let's uh, 
refresh with uh, Sim Air Force, who's who we were flying for today. And... I'm curious what it read. That gave me a 288. All right, accepting. Cool. That means I'm good for a little bit of time here. All right, so with all of that said, we need to come off PauseCon. And uh, to do that, I am going to go here. And whoop, network, disconnect. All right, and uh, Khan is there. Okay, now we'll do the uh, replay. I know, a lot of steps, but uh, it's just mainly because online networks don't like it when you um, basically are going to be going back and forth on a runway, especially since there is a TC up. If I was on that sim, they'd get a little miffed at me. But... As I was starting to say, I can go back two hours, 58 minutes into this flight where we started in Dias, run the whole thing again. Can't well, You can do that in Microsoft with an add-on. Uh, this comes directly out of the box. X-Plane 12 is turning final here sometime today, tomorrow, the next day. And uh, we'll see if they keep that diagnostic, which I think is flat out awesome. So, let's see how badly we did, shall we? All right, I know I can see the runway out there, so we're gonna kind of speed up a little to get in there see we've run out of trim. That's annoying as I'll get out. See how we did. Gulf port, by the way, folks, is just like right over there. Now I can tell we're high there, and we're probably fast. As they say, bummer, bummer, bummer.
to see what the tower looks like. And I don't think we can see it. It's a nice view out of the tower. It's just a shame we can't see. That's pretty cool. See, we just... Yeah, I just... Yeah, okay. I screwed up in more ways than I can get. Oh well, again, great learning tool here, folks, that you folks over at Microsoft don't get. Um, as you can see, boom, nose gear. Never good to land on it first. You get that fucking Bronco. Oh well, well, folks, that was a great run nonetheless. Let's go ahead and get back in our spot. And uh, call it a day, shall we? Alright folks, well we're here in Keesler. Like I said, Hurricane Hunter Central. Folks, we had a great time. OBS. Did a phenomenal job. I'm wondering still if it is my internet's causing the troubles. So, with all of that said, I am still not going to go out and uh, uh, raid a channel, um, mainly because we had a lot of problems with that last time. So, we're just going to kind of get the aircraft in here, unloaded. Um, and get her in the hangar so they can fix the nose gear and everything else that's wrong. But, folks, the good news is everything worked today. Aircraft had a slight problem overall. Great stream. I want to thank you all for being a part. God bless you all. And I uh, hope you all have a great rest of your week. For those of us in the U.S., remember, it's only 40 four days long instead of five. Again, God bless you all. Have a great day. Be kind to one another. We'll see you again Wednesday.